Hi, my name is Katie Sullivan. I'm the plant manager on the treated side of the business. Treated lumber is lumber that has been processed in a pressure treating cylinder, where preservative is forced into incision marks that we've made. The preservatives are designed to help protect against fungal decay and termite attack. So first, the full unit of lumber is broken down into a single layer and transferred into the incisor. The incising process happens on the raw lumber, which prepares the lumber for the treatment process. Directly after the incisor, it goes through a stain booth that provides the color that we've selected. After the stain booth, it's then transferred to the stacker and put into the standard unit size. It then from the stacker, it goes to the banding station. It gets banded and tagged for inventory. So once it's banded and tagged, it then sets for 24 to 48 hours until the stain is dried. It's important that it's dried prior to the treatment process so we can ensure that the color quality is there. Prior to the pressure treated lumber being removed from the drip pad, it must be drip free, dry, and also tested for injection and retention. Once the incised stained lumber is dry, it's loaded onto the carts and pushed into the pressure treatment cylinder. There is a vacuum pump system that removes the air from the treatment cylinder. Nearly 25 mercury inches is achieved in this vacuum process. Once the treatment cylinder is full with the preservative, it's brought under pressure to 150 PSI. It remains at that pressure until the required retention and injection is met. The final step, the vacuum pump is activated, achieving the 25 mercury inches, transferring the preservative back to the preservative storage tank. Once the cylinder is empty, the door is unlocked and the pressure treated lumber is removed on the rail system. The lumber is then removed from the rails and set on the 100% contained EPA certified drip pad. There it will remain until it is drip free. Generally that's 24 to 48 hours, if not longer. All excess preservative that is collected off the drip pad system is then recycled and used on future pressure treatments. Once all required criteria are met, the lumber is then removed and prepared for shipment to the customer. When you build with our pressure treated lumber, you can be assured that your project will be built to last.